Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back with our Light Bearer account. As you can see, 28,000 diamonds on 27-36. They are further in the campaign than any other faction team that we have. And today we are going to continue our progression. Looking at our heroes overall, we do have quite a few heroes that are already at Ascended. Got a lot more five-star heroes, which we dropped out of the wish list. Already have furniture bonuses on Cecilia, which is very, very cool. Continuing to level up their gear. Um, still kind of debating who we're going to build next. As you can see, we do have Thane. Hopefully we can get a couple copies of Oscar. Um, Hendrick we would like to build, but we are running out of heroes on this account, just like we are with all of the other ones with the factions. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the summons here. Uh, first of all, of course, we're going to use our faction cards. This was from the last chapter that we completed. So we actually got two hero choice cards versus getting some scrolls, which here we get a copy of Falks. And our second one is, hopefully it's going to be Oscar. That's who I would like to see. Copy of Rigby. Rigby's another hero that we have never built. Would be kind of interesting to go ahead and build him just because I have never seen him built. Two elite hero soul stones here. Which we got a copy of Wukong. Very, very nice PvP hero by far. We also do have quite a few blue stones here. 28 rare cards, so a lot more fodder as we continue to build our Light Bear team. All right, so here we do have Case Olsen Falx, which Falx is already at five stars, so we'll actually be able to go ahead and use that copy as fodder. Still looking for a couple more heroes here, which it looks like Kasos we can actually add a star to, as well as Saurus. Still looking to build Saurus over here, so it looks like we do have or will have enough food, hopefully after this summoning session, to go ahead and build him up to Mythic Plus, because he is a priority, priority utilizing him for the bosses, both the Twisted Essence and the Guild bosses. Very, very powerful. Plus, we do have the Resonating Crystal that we can add quite a few levels. We're at 281 already, so we'll go ahead and get to 282. 299, I think, is going to be the point that we're going to stop for a little bit just because of the Twisted Essence bosses. I know they did make a couple adjustments, but 299 is still kind of a stopping point for a little bit to continue doing Twisted Essence. So that takes us to 285. have another promo pack there which out of essence at 285. So in the course of the last couple weeks, we went from 240 to 285, so 45 levels, putting our overall combat rating to 24 million at this point. So collecting up a lot. So looking at our wish list here, we do have Lucius, Hendrick, Cecilia, as well as Oscar. So continuing, as you can see, we already do have four five-star heroes. We did drop Dresden here as well as we do have Damon there a little bit lower. We got a lot of scrolls out of our um, Abysmal Expedition restart. Quite a few companion points, 28,000 plus Stargazer. I believe we only have six cards, so not enough to summon for Taylene yet. But we'll go ahead and get into our companion summons. Hopefully with this one we can pull at least one Elite, which there was just three rare cards. And number two... Very, very few cards at that point either. We do have our 27 days for our desired hero, which we're gonna save this to see exactly who we're gonna build, because I wanna see who we're gonna get out of here. Over the next couple weeks, we'll have enough gems or enough diamonds to continue to build whoever we're looking for. I think it's gonna be Oscar, because Cecilia at this point, we're just adding stars to. But I'm thinking overall, if we can get Gwen, we already have her. If we can get Cecilia, we can. We already have her. So there's our first elite, which is a copy of Verk. Very, very powerful Mauler, but Verk overall, it seems like he's going to be replaced um, with Scrath Sophia combo is what I've kind of noticed. Plus Nemisu with his haste, and another elite right there. Copy of Shamira. So still looking for light bears on the light bear account. Hopefully we can get 22,000 diamonds left. Hopefully we can get some copies of some light bears. Again, six more rare cards. There's another 50 emblems. All right, so it looks like we have enough food. We're gonna go ahead and add another star here to Shamira. So we continue to build her up. 
we've actually seen a lot of our off heroes getting higher in the stars as well. There's another elite just pulling them one at a time at this point. Copy of Oscar. He's one that we're looking for. Might be able to do something with him. Thane I'm leaving at Legendary Plus and another elite right there. Copy of Oscar. Double copies of him right there. Very, very good pull. Couple more rare cards. We got three more summons here. Another elite, maybe Oscar. Copy of Leica. Leica Iran formation shell. Super, super powerful. Good combination to run together. All right, and our final summon, which is going to be the elite summon. All right, last card, we get a copy of Namora. All right, we'll definitely take that copy. So we have one card on the table. We do have 30 more amplifying emblems. Maybe another copy of Oscar would be nice that we, we can continue to build him. Another copy of Falks. All right, to look in, that gives us a copy of Oscar. So we are going to be able to add a couple more stars here. Let's take a look at Leica. We'll add a star there. Shamir will do the same. Shamir is very, very important for some of the twist, Twisted Essence bosses, as well as the Labyrinth that performs really, really well. All right, so let's see. We have Rain, Hendrick. We, have, we do have double copies of Oscar, which I think overall, because Falks is already at five stars. So we can use the copy of Falks. So we'll take Oscar, the copy of Falks, and then we'll take a copy of Angelo to go ahead and build him. We know it does have Falks because he's already at five stars. Level up Oscar to Legendary Plus. I believe we are gonna have enough food here as well to continue to build him. That will give us our food there at Legendary Plus. We'll get Oscar up. And he is a hero that I have never built on any of the accounts. So getting him up to Mythic, we'll keep him right there. Because essentially, Thane we're not going to build. Rain we're not going to build. Uh, Hendrik possibly in the future. But the rest of the heroes, we're just continuing to add more stars to. Let's take a quick look here. Which I believe we did get enough rare cards. So we can actually use Ogi. Which as much as I would love to build Tassie here. Um, I am going to stick with Saurus because Saurus I do use, again, for the bosses. And I use them on all the accounts. We're building them on all the accounts. So he goes to Mythic Plus on our Maulers. Quite a bit of food there. We already have three Maulers fully ascended plus Titus there. So I'm thinking Sophia we should work on here. So we have a lot of copies of... Golis, so we'll go ahead and get him up, and this will give us our food for Sophia. The big reason between using these on the faction accounts and unlocking the signature items are the faction towers themselves. So we've seen a lot of progression slowed down with the faction towers because we are kind of running out of heroes to use. Same here, we do have Nara, which we only need one more copy and we can get her up to Ascended, but we're going to use a little bit of food here. That way we can go ahead and get Nara up for her signature item as well. So Nara will go ahead and take care of Silvana. And then let's take a look at Celestials and Hypogen. Not sure if we have any for Wukong, which we do not. Still a little bit short there. So that gives us a lot of heroes to get leveled up here. Light Bears. Let's look at the workshop here. So we have 17, almost 1,800 Still looking at the wish list. Only one that we have in here is Hendrik that we don't have built or not up to an ascended level. And I'm thinking maybe swapping out Oscar at this point. We'll swap in Oscar just because he's a hero he, we're going to focus on. And remember, we can pull copies of him out of the desired hero next week since we know we're going to go ahead and build him. So let's do all of our summons here. Little red glow there, which short of it being... Double look at that. Rowan and Oscar. So we got another copy for Rowan. Little orange twinkle there. A couple more legendary pieces. Another red twinkle. Which is another piece for 
Very nice. Got another piece for Gwen. Very, very powerful. So a couple more summons here. The red cards, we're going to go ahead and save. And the logic behind that is if we're saving the red cards, which we just got two, but if you're actually saving these red cards, when you need one more card to get to a three piece or a nine piece, you can go ahead and use your cards. So we're actually going to save them on the table. That way we can use them as we need them. But let's go ahead and add another piece to Gwen, which again adds her. I'm not sure that gave her the three piece. I'm not sure all three pieces are hers. But Cecilia, we can actually level up a little bit more. So she already does have her three piece and Estrilda we don't have up either at this point, or we do. She only got one piece though. Then Rowan, we did pick up another piece for him, which gives him his first one piece there, his signature, or his furniture. When using the healthy, sup, healthy potions from the ability, healthy supplies, a bit, a bit, uh, excuse me, allied heroes with will additionally regenerate 1% of their own health over 10 seconds. So a little bit of an added boost to him. So Belinda, we're good. Folks, we'll go ahead and add more too. Put up his defense a little higher. Same with Rose, continuing to build there, adding up her attack. And remember, her attack directly translates to other heroes. Fully max out, there we go. For Lucius, received healing, crit resistance, a lot more haste there. Building him overall. So that will do it for our furnitures, just short of another summon there. Let's go ahead and collect up some of our items. All right, so let's take a quick look at the team. As you can see, we do have Lucius with his three set bonus for furniture, max SI there. Um, same with Cecilia, we have almost the max signature item, which I'm not sure, still short, because we don't have a event going on right now. But we do have some more tier stones. Level him up a little bit more. Not sure. See, we're pretty limited with the gear that we've actually gotten. Oscar, we're going to go ahead and unlock his signature item. If an enemy appears on the allied side of the battlefield, Oscar instantaneously appears beside them and proceeds to kick them back into their own half of the battlefield, resulting in 200% damage. So overall for him, we'll get him to his plus 10 signature item, as well as some of the other heroes, Nara and Sophia, that we were working on here. I would like to get him to Ascended and see how well he performs. I know he does fall into one of the God tier. Ability converts 100% of damage taken by the enemy into health. So if you're leveling up his damage or he is producing a lot of damage, he'll actually be able to kill them pretty quick. All right, so looking at the other signature items, I believe everyone is just about maxed out. We can add a couple more stones here. Gives him tier two for upping her attack. So here we are looking at the campaign 27-36. They are further than any other team that we have, and they are continuing to make progression into chapter 27 at this point. We're over halfway through, which again here, the Belinda Rose combo just does a crazy, crazy amount of damage. Being able to take out Nemesis totems in one or two shots Falks, of course, providing his CC. Let's look at the damage on this one. Belinda putting out 26 million, 6 million, and 6 million from Rose and Falks. So overall, Belinda still the main damage burst in this team. Let's go ahead and swap Belinda to the top because we don't want um, Falks to go ahead and take away some of our energy disintegration. Even there, they both got double potions with Rose and Belinda. Should be able to get this one down. There's our stun on Falks. Shamira came out of the confine, and that is what makes Falks just such a necessary hero. As you can see, keeping Shamira locked up that entire battle, very, very cool. Looking at the damage here, 17.5 million, 6 million from Rose. That is what makes this team so, so strong. Here we swap in Cecilia. This is a team comp that was very tough, but remember, we do have Cecilia's at a plus 28 signature item. And we also do have our furniture. As you can see here, the stacks are full right there on Thorin as well, making her super, super powerful when it comes to damage. 
because she can actually stack her judgment ability on heroes that she's not on because they've done damage to her. So very, very powerful with how she can do damage and how it is spread around to the teams as well as her mitigation. So here we're going to swap her to the top, putting her on Belinda, even though she went in the confine, meaning she goes right onto Grez. Between the damage mitigation again, as you can see, we're getting the stacks up there on the Dref right in the middle. It's got full judgment again, so even though she's not attacking the Dref in the middle, she keeps using her alt on him, which is very, very cool. Let's check out the damage on this one. Cecilia at 11.8, so almost 12 million damage there. Again, putting damage out very, very quickly. Put her in the middle here to deal with Aziz. So we can actually burn him down, as you can see how fast the stacks are up on Aziz. And they're on Naru right below them. So look at the double judgment stacks we have here. So as long as she's getting energy, she can ult like crazy, as you've seen there. So not only getting the kill energy, but getting energy from her ult abilities. 15 million, 12 million damage there from Cecilia. Very, very cool. If you're not using her in the Abysmal Expedition or Abyssal Expedition, she is super, super powerful for the damage mitigation piece that she brings. Put her right in the back here. She's on Nemitsu, but we're stacking totems, as you can see right there, on Nemitsu, and we're stacking, or excuse me, not totems, we're stacking our Judgment on Estrilda and on Nemitsu at the same time, keeping both of them with a huge damage burst because of the Judgment ability that we have on there. So it brings us to 27-42. Confine goes right up on the damage in the back, which is perfect. Cecilia just working down Angelo right in the bottom all by herself, but look at Pharrell. Pharrell has stacks, completely stacked with the Judgment ability. Because of her furniture, we are just spreading those stacks around everywhere, which is awesome to see how fast she can take out targets at this point. So in here, she did get a charm, but we still have the stacks here up on Morella. We do have some of the stacks up on the top and stacks on the more in the bottom. Unfortunately, she went down, but still had a considerable amount of those judgment stacks. So we're going to go ahead and look at those after this, see just how powerful they are. 26, almost 26 and a half million damage there from Belinda. So super, super powerful team. She's still doing a ton of damage, even though we swapped out Rose. To add in Cecilia, we actually swapped out Rose, moved Rowan into the tanking position, as you've seen, because there are a lot of stages where we need a lot more damage versus having more CC or having the utility to actually take down some of these heroes. Cecilia getting the job done. And again, look at the amount of times she seems to alt super, super fast overall. Damage here, 12 million, 8.69 from Cecilia. Bringing us to stage 27-45. So we're almost three-fourths, or excuse me, two-thirds of the way through this stage, or through this chapter, which is very, very cool. There we have a lot more. Belinda just burns targets down, especially with her plus 30 signature item. That's why I cannot wait to get Cecilia to there as well. 17.4, 5.7 from Falks. Bring us to 27-46. So Shamira should go in the confine, which she does. Putting Cecilia versus Scrag. As you can see, she got stunned there. She was actually rooted, but did get a shield. Got the alt out. And with her being a ranger, increases her damage as well. All right, so let's look at the damage on this one. We are at 20, almost 21 million damage from Belinda in that one. So still, without Rose, pumping out a crazy high amount of damage. And also remember with this combination is you have Belinda, who is actually buffing Cecilia in the bottom, allowing her to do more damage as well. Due to the charm ability, you can see um, Belinda has some stacks. Even Lucius has some stacks because Cecilia got charmed. So very, very cool ability. 18 million, 12 million from Cecilia. Bring us to 27-48. We'll swap Cecilia to the top, which I believe Laika is going to go in the confine, which she does, meaning that Cecilia is on Lucius. So we do have a stun there from Rowan, which is perfect, providing some CC. 
Looks like Kaz is fully stacked as well, which goes down right there. Oh, but our first defeat. All right, let's swap him to the bottom, see if we can maybe take care of Tassie, at least do some damage on her. There's our stun again. Okay. Cecilia's still running around there, which she went down right there. Another defeat. We can always try Gwen on this one with the Hendra combo. A couple different ways we can actually go this route because those shields are so rough when Lucius pops up that shield. Damage mitigation there is high, which we might have at this time, but we did not. Very, very close. Let's give it a couple more tries here. Seems like the Cecilia, we just need a little bit of RNG to make it work. Maybe mitigate some of the Lucia shield because the Banish is really tough as well. This might be another Rose uh, Belinda combo. Fortunately, there's another defeat. So that'll do it for the Light Bearer team. Went through that stage about 35 times. Unfortunately, we could not get it done. So that will stop us for the Light Bears. We are on 27 dash, I believe 48 at this point. Let me know in the comments what you think. Very stoked about building Oscar at this point. Cecilia is doing amazing. And as always, thank you for watching.